Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, as we are soon to get 23H2, which is uh, still being tested on release preview, one of the interesting things that changed in it is uh, apparently a new entry in the Settings app. So in the Settings, if you go into System, so you'll have all the regular settings on the right side, but under Remote Desktop, uh, this mostly for the Pro version, you'll have System Components. It says Remove and Manage System Components that are pre-installed on Windows. So this, um, I don't know how far it's going to go, but right now what it does is take all the apps that are core apps integrated within Windows 11 and puts them there. So Game Bar, Get Help, Microsoft Store, the phone link, tips, Windows Securities, what is there right now. So uh, some of you might see this. It's rolling out to some insiders in the release preview. Um, what other components will be there? Could this actually start giving us components that were in the control panel? Because if you remember, in the control panel, there were um, some components that you can turn on and off, and it's still there, actually, in Windows 11. Uh, and it does feel very old. It feels like you're in Windows XP when you play there. So uh, would this be a soon replacement to all of this? Right now, of course, it's concentrated on apps that Microsoft has, but uh, at least it's a good thing. I think it's nice to have that. Now, the funny thing about this is that system, which gives us system components, if it gives us system apps, why don't you put it under apps? <laughs> you know, if it's to only give us core apps, you could just put it into apps and give, well, you know, system apps or system components apps or something. That's where it should be. But anyways, um, if they put it into system, I'm suspecting that maybe eventually all the... Um, components that might be in the control panel will eventually move here. It'll be something to see anyways. So uh, this is on some machines with 23H2. I have release preview, have 23H2, and I don't have this. So it depends on uh, each machine. I guess it's, you know, a rollout to some, but not everybody, like uh, the A-B testing like Microsoft likes to do all the time. But the idea behind it is not bad. I think all core apps, all system components should be on their own place and not mixed in with the you know, regular apps that you might have downloaded or installed uh, while you're using Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.